I'd like to say it's not interrupting, aren't I, Mike? Actually, we're just eating. Oh, uh, well, I just want to go under the sink, get a bit of paint strip, you know, I've left it under there. It won't be a minute. All right, Mark. Just seen your car out there. Oh, yeah. Nasty scratch down the side of it, isn't he? What happened on the close? Kids, eh? No respect these days. I tell you what, though, it could have been worse. Could have had this stuff all over your bonnet. And say what, I've just been having a look at your tyres as well. Still all there, are they? Oh, I'd still all there. Just that one of them's looking a bit, um, what's it now, eh? Underinflated. I think you know what I mean, don't you, Mark? Do you mean underinflated, like right down? You're the expert. You mean like punctured or slashed? Tracy, did you know that it was an offence to drive round on an underinflated tyre? No. No need to die. It's amazing the things you learn, isn't it? Have them kids been messing with Mark's car again? I wouldn't like to say what's been going on, Tracy, you know. Well, has someone let one of his tyres down? Well, not, not down exactly, more like underinflated. Why don't we go and check it out, Mark? I'll go and check it when I'm ready. Well, it's that'll be helpful, you know. Yeah, well, it doesn't sound like it. Well, it's just in case Mark wants to get off in order or something. I mean, he can't, can he? I mean, he can't drive around a legal car, like. Why don't you go and check it? Because I don't want to. Well, I'm going to check it. This is stupid. I don't know what you two are talking about. Well, you heard him, Trace. He'll check it when he's good and ready. Mind you, I'd forgotten you were a busy. Won't make any difference to you, will it? I mean, if you get stopped, you'll just have to show your little badge and you'll get waved on, won't you? Thought it warns you off. What's up, Mr Policeman? Not getting the respect you think you deserve? You touch my car again, I'm going to sort you out, all right? <laughs> what do you mean, again? Some kid scratch my car. Some baby who doesn't like having his dolly taken off him. I'd have to do you next time just to show you. Show me what? Show me who's boss. Do you know what they call busies in London? They call them filth. You're not even filth. Well, what am I without my uniform? <laughs> You're a copper, aren't you? You'll probably be a copper till the day you die. But you're one of the new breed. One of the 80s coppers. The ones who think they own the country and everyone else in its dirt. But there's other people live here beside you, you know. Yeah, and half of them are deadheads like you. <sighs> there you go. Respect for the community. I love it. You don't even try to hide it, do you? There's nothing wrong with the tyres. Well, that's funny. One of them looked underinflated to me. Barry. Just wait a minute, will you, Trace? Will you just leave us alone and go? I was just saying to my friend Mark here, isn't it sad, eh? When a man's got to sort out his private life, well, he's got to hide behind a uniform. It's very sad, that, isn't it? I'm not wearing my uniform today, am I? So what do you want me to do? Do you want me to have a pop at you, do you? I thought it was an arrestable offence even to threaten a police officer. Never mind, based one. Will you stop it, the both of you? It's your problem if you're scared. <laughs> you're scared? You're just a scared old man, aren't you? But Tracy likes a meter a bit fresher than you. Made you mind? And you know what's even. I know what she wants. And she doesn't want old men hanging around to stop her and having a life. Hey, I've had enough of this. Now stop it. The uniform doesn't set you apart, you know. You're no different to anyone else. And I don't care who you are. I don't like you. And I don't think you deserve Tracy. Oh, and she deserves you, does she? Well, at least I care about her. I'm not just after what I can get. This is getting out of hand. I'm phoning Rod. No need to phone anyone. Get off, will you? What are you going to do now, eh? Going to arrest me, are you? You shouldn't have done that. Go ahead, then arrest me or can't you walk? I can arrest you if I want. Come on, then. March me down the station or can't you, March? Well, I could just take out a civil action against you. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Me and you in court, eh, with a judge and all that. He's bound to be on my side, isn't he, against the busy? Why don't you stop it, both of you? It was not just my word, is it? I've got a witness. How have you? I'm really scared. Hang on, who's this witness? Oh, come on, Trace, you are. It's up to you, Trace. I haven't seen anything. Nothing? Just get out, will you? Go on. You heard her. Get out. Go on, get out! Both of you.